All right, continuing the airway and breathing course here. Again, G and PG rated material. There's a whole bunch of stuff that could be considered to be R rated, but we don't mess with that. We're going to do G and PG rated stuff. Everybody ought to know this, and the pretty good medics that we graduate ought to know this stuff. In the laryngoscopy unit, there's only three lessons. The first one we're going to do right now, epiglottoscopy. We'll follow that up with some more talk about direct laryngoscopy, DL technique, and then some video VL technique stuff. Epiglottoscopy is this lesson. Now, what is that term? That's made up by Dr. Richard Levitan. He is the airway guru. You know, he's a uh, producer of the Airway Cam video series that we use extensively in class. We use mannequins designed uh, by Dr. Levitan, and he has spent a career making this uh, his passion. And he is absolutely convinced that hunting for the epiglottis is the thing that we should worry about. It is the key structure to identify. It covers the glottic opening, and you need to work your way down the tongue methodically and carefully until you find the epiglottis. And then from there, it's a matter of a few more steps and you're done. But the epiglottoscopy is the very, very first thing we're looking for. The epiglottis, the floppy <clears throat> structure that um, covers your vocal cords when you swallow, keeping you from aspirating. Um, but the epiglottis is the key landmark that we can almost always see on laryngoscopy. Only in a grade four, Cormac Lehane grade four view or you're not going to see anything at all. But in a grade three, you see epiglottis. In a grade one and grade, grade two, you see uh, part of or all of the glottic opening, respectively. And so the picture here on the right side is showing a curved blade in the vollecula and um, getting ready to put a little bit of pressure there, which will flip this epiglottis up. But the epiglottis should be identifiable, and it looks like that. And so you need to really understand uh, what you're looking for there. Now, while the vocal cords are our target, the glottic opening, the space between the cords, that's what we're looking for. But the epiglottis landmarks that for us and covers those vocal cords. A straight blade technique, and we'll talk about DL technique here in a little bit in a separate lesson. But the straight blades go in and directly lift the epiglottis. So obviously you'd want to find the epiglottis in order to lift it with that blade. And as I mentioned, the curved blade goes in the vollecula. The vollecula is that space at the base of the tongue that is just above the epiglottis, so to speak. <clears throat> and the magic there is that when you press in there with some general pressure applied into the vollecula, that epiglottis will flip up out of the way. So this is a short, quick one, but this whole thing is find the epiglottis. Once you've found the epiglottis, everything else moves from there.